What's up, all my folks out in YouTube land? Daryl, also known as The Finisher. Hey, man, I didn't want to do this video. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I got to do a Home Advisor slash Angie Leeds review, and I'm serious. I mean, I know a lot of people hate them. And, you know, I mean, but they do serve their purpose. At least they did for me when I first started. I got to be honest with you. When I first started doing this business, I did what everybody says to do. Get the, you know, get the SEO, uh, you know, get the website, hand out flyers, put business cards out, go to all the real estate offices. I did everything. I was everywhere and I got no calls, none. Then I got a call from Home Advisor. They actually gave me a little bit of a deal and I took it. And then next thing I know, I started getting calls. Now, granted, we're talking about almost four years ago. So the game has changed a lot over those four years to the point where at this time, Home Advisor is the ultimate habitual line stepper. Let's get into it. He would step across the line. Habitually, he's a habitual line stepper. The first time that they stepped the line was that you do get no answer leads sometimes where you call and nobody ever answers and you call and nobody answers. And it's just like, so the thing where people think it's just fake leads, people got reason to think that. So I'm not knocking that as being false. <laughs> I have no doubt there are probably some fake leads sprinkled in there. There's people who changed their mind, I would get that. But you know, that was the first time that they stepped the line when I would call and I wouldn't get anybody uh, for whatever reason, you know? So habitual line stepper act number one that was a couple years ago we're gonna be progressive with this we're gonna build it up until we get to the current times all right so all right next one the second habitual line stepping act that home advisor has engaged in or angie leads i get confused exact match leads i don't know if you know whoever works with them y'all understand what they are now what i was thought they were when i first started getting them this is like I say a couple years back where it's where they they match you exactly with your what what you actually do so this customer is calling for the exact thing that you do and they verified it somehow and they charge you one and a half times for these leads so if the lead normally cost ten dollars they charge you fifteen dollars because it's an, it's an exact match lead and the whole idea was that you got exclusivity to the lead well um i started noticing that they were sending they started sending these leads to like multiple people so i would get the lead and i'd see uh that they sent it to like three other contractors and i'm like well why am i paying that's the same as they do with the regular lead like why would i pay extra <laughs> to to still compete with everybody like it's the same thing so that was habitual line stepping act number two I'm telling you that I'm telling that, that was that was bothering me. Now, once again, I didn't it didn't do that to me all the time, but when it happened, you know, it was like, okay, this is ridiculous. But that's number two. Let's go to the next one. The third act of habitual line stepping. This is when you know home advisor get, will give you refund on leads that are bad and you gotta keep track because they, they got all these rules. You know, you gotta call them two days in a row. I know you definitely have to call them the first day, and you know, you gotta contact them twice, you gotta have a good standing. There's a couple other factors that go that are involved, right? Well, what I found out is that when I was on a roll and I was calling multiple people and I started racking up some like you know a good amount of leads that were I should I'd be getting refunds on. It didn't matter that my account was in good standing. Nothing mattered. What they did was they said <laughs> it was they played a Jedi mind trick on me. Your account is in good standing, but there's this is, this is abnormal for you. So after like three, they run refunded me like three. They were like, "No, nah, we ain't refunding that one." And it's like, and now I'm asking for too many refunds. It's which one is it? You know what I'm saying? It's my, do you trust me? Because my account is in good standing. I've never had a bunch of issues. Now all of a sudden, I'm getting a, a, a whole bunch of people that 
um, aren't answering, I can't get in contact with, nothing, no response, nothing, and then I ask you for a refund, and you're like, nah, now you're asking too many times right now. Blind stepping, home advisor, you can't do that. You can't do that. Either, either, either we're going off, either you trust me or you don't. Uh, but you can see the record. It's not like you don't know if I contacted the people. I don't understand. Get it right. So that's number three. Let's go to the next one. All right, y'all. The fourth act of habitual line stepping by Home Advisor, Angie Leeds, whatever they're going by these days. They give you these stickers. So certain accomplishments, like there was a couple years I was like contract, number one contractor in the area, like that sort of thing. Um, but they give you these stickers and their goal is for you to put them, you know, they tell you, put them on your website, put them everywhere, advertise. And I didn't fall for the, I didn't fall for the trap, man. I didn't, I didn't take the cheese or the peanut butter. You know, I mean, I put peanut butters in the mouse trap, peanut butter in the mouse trap, but I didn't take the bait. How about that? Um, but what they do is you put all the home advisor stickers and everything on your website, on your personal website. And then they take that joint out. Then people are going there. Well, people will go to your website and click the home advisor link and then go back to home advisor. And, and, and then you got to pay for the lead. You know what I'm saying? Like for the, like that's taking the customers that are coming to you and going and taking them back to home advisor so they can go through home advisor thinking and a lot of customers think that, you know, they, they don't know. They think that that's the best way to contact you is through home advisor. But I never fell for the trap. I know I do know guys that did that put the stickers on their website and it it looks good to customers that are coming in. But what you're not realizing is that you're killing your own SEO by by referring them to the home advisor's website instead of directly to your own. So watch out, man. That's I mean, that's kind of slime ball tactics as far as I'm concerned. Home advisor, take notes. I know what you're doing. Um, but that's number that's number four. All right, y'all, number five. And I got six on the list, so I didn't say that before, but this is number five. And as you see, they get grimier and grimier as they go. And this is also a part of the timeline from when I first started. This started happening maybe uh, maybe two years ago um, when they really started. This is before they were Angie Lee's, but they, start, they were really getting in with Angie's list um, and, and mixing the two together. What they would start doing was giving the customers the prices and you'd have to start competing with Home Advisor and Angie for the customer. That wasn't a thing before, you know? So matter of fact, when they first started, I would get leads from a Angie. When Angie couldn't find the customer, they would send it to Home Advisor and I would get that lead because nobody on Angie's list was being able to fulfill it. So, but then they started <laughs> just competing against you, which is, it's foul, but I mean, I get it. It's capitalism, it's the way the world works. You want to go put your um, your your new soda brand in Walmart? You're gonna to have to compete with Sam's Choice. It's just they're gonna undercut you in every every way they can, you know. And that's just what it is, you know. So that's their way. They under they kind of sneakily go underneath you. Uh, I I heard guys that said that it would be a week. They would have a job locked in, and then they get a call from the customer saying that. Hey, I got a, I'm a home advisor called me with a better price. I'm gonna go with them. And it's just like, wow, that was, that's kind of foul. But I mean, it is capitalism. It's shady. It's shady. Cause I mean, I'm paying you to send me the leads, but, and then I got to compete with you. But you know, I guess that is what it is, man. So that's number five on the, on the habitual line stepper list. You no, know, he would step across the line. Habitually, he's a habitual line stepper. All right, number six, y'all. This last one, this last act of habitual line stepping is so egregious. I had to, I had to take a seat in the big dog chair, man, to talk about it. So we'll get my blood pressure up. I told you in number five that they compete against you now on price. Well, what started happening recently, like a few months ago, was I would call customers and they would tell me asked me like, oh, so um, when are you coming out? They paid already and they have this job schedule. Uh, we're just waiting on somebody to give us the time. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't I don't know anything about that. <clears throat> I knew, I heard that they purchased Handy a while ago and they started 
doing handy style jobs where they give the customer a price ahead of time and then they just send the contractor out. And I don't know who these contractors are that are signing up, but I guess whoever is with handy.com. And so after they purchased them, they started doing that. But which is which is foul. But the most foul extension of that was when I would call a customer, like I got the lead, boom. Call right then and there, as soon as the phone rang. Call the customer and the customer says, oh, um, yeah, so when are you coming out? He already paid, I got the, I'm just waiting to schedule, I just don't know when you're coming out. And I'm like, I didn't talk to him, I don't know. So what that means is that Home Advisor slash Angie's List already secured the lead they sold the lead and they sold me the lead after they had already secured it with the customer i mean it, how can it get any more egregious than that so you're selling me leads now i'm paying for leads that you already closed on so that at that point it was it was done but i told you i'm i'm enough years in that this year was like it's like the first year that it just coincided with this that i did all my work has come from referrals or previous customers. I just looked at my uh, my app yesterday at my uh, CRM. I might have over 700 customers that I've done done work for. It's just I got a huge log. Well, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Over 500 customers that I've done work for. So I get calls all the time and I get referrals all the time now. But I didn't get that when I first started out, and Home Advisor was a big help, man. Angie Lee, that was, that was a big help for me. But they've totally ruined the platform, so I can't. There's no way I could suggest that to anybody. To, I mean, I mean, how could you? How could you? You you're paying for leads that they they've closed on themselves, in house. That's crazy. It's like they know they got the job, and they're just gonna sell you the lead anyway. Insane. And that's illegal. I mean, that that should be so illegal. It's it's crazy, but. I digress, man. I I would love if, if a representative from them reached out to me, man, because I was one of your biggest fans. I, you know, I I was when other people were smashing you. I was trying to give the give people an understanding, reason with with your tactics. And at this point, they're just it's just way too egregious. I can't. There's no way I can suggest somebody go deal with anybody under that umbrella. So it's a shame, but. Home Advisor slash Angie Leads is the ultimate habitual line stepper. I don't know, but you might have some other companies coming for your title. But right now, 2022, you got the crown. All right? So, hey, everybody, we're going to figure out how to get these leads, man. Some uh, some better ways and uh, some, more, some uh, more ways for especially the newer guys coming in. Because if you're anything like me, it's hard. It's hard out here to... Uh, to get started and um we're gonna try to help you out man so stay tuned we'll be coming with more videos well i'll be coming with more videos um i just got super busy man and just wasn't able to keep up with the with the load so but i'm becoming the uh we're gonna we're gonna get things going this year man all right so once again subscribe comment like man hey let's get this thing rolling all right, I get back with you soon.